The most important thing to remember is a marathon is not supposed to be easy. It's hard and it is going to break you at some point. The only question that remains is how do you deal with that? Do you stop or do you continue to fight? Right now, we're at the Lake Garda, already in the near, uh, where the marathon is gonna start in around 36 hours. I'm Paul, Paul Zudu, I'm from Berlin, Germany, actually. I'm 24 years old at the moment, and I'm not at all a pro athlete. And I'm also a father. I'm watching my three-month-old daughter a lot. I started my running journey around one and a half years ago, but really on really, really amateur levels. And in August of 2022, I started the training for my first marathon ever. And since then, I took training more seriously. Since then, I ran four times, five times, maybe six times a week. And it's been a bigger and bigger and a more intense part of my life. My first marathon the goal was just to do it start it and then run through the finish line in some in just some time for this marathon this is very different because i had more time to train uh, i already did one so now it's about doing it in a specific time which is under four hours under four hours is a very ambitious goal for me at least under four hours means that you have to run a five minute and 40 second pace through the whole marathon. But maybe the question is raised, why am I here at this specific marathon of Expionic? I've been following the brand for a longer time when I started uh, my running journey and they had an Instagram story up. Since they are the main sponsor of this marathon at the Lake Arda in 2023, they said, okay guys, who wants to join the marathon? And I just saw that Instagram story and said, okay, Honestly, <laughs> why not? I really want to do it. And then they got back to me and said, okay, Paul, you know what? You're actually the right guy. Experonic really surprised me. They really sent me like two huge boxes to Berlin with, I think, uh, about everything they have, which is kind of related to running. Full zip jacket, a hat, from tank top to shirt to long sleeve, uh, short pants, longer pants, in different colors and different varieties. The quality of the clothes and what they provided me were just amazing. I was honestly really blown away. I put the stuff on and I went for a small run directly in the night and then the next day I, I uh, did a 25k. What I just saw again with the second preparation for my second marathon is that the journey is the goal. Going for a run five times, four times a week, getting good sleep for weeks. It's tough, it's hard. And uh, I really had to commit to this 100% uh, to even have a chance to even get close to four hours. As you would expect in January, February and March in Berlin, it's, it's, never, it's never that nice. Most of the times when I went running, it was raining, dark clouds, maybe snowing, it was a lot of wind, it was very cold, even though I was running throughout the day, the weather was a huge challenge. Of course, not with the right experionic gear, because it was minus two, minus three, minus five degrees, but I could still easily do a 20K, 25K, 30K long run just in my experionic clothes, because they, they just kept me so warm and were still so light, which was, it would, which was just amazing.
So me and my team were here for like a full week now. It felt like a training camp with these guys. We went on morning runs uh, a lot and I also did like a, a long run, like my last long run, a 16K. I was trying to hit the, the marathon pace and I managed to do it for, for sure. I had a 5.38 pace. But it was surprisingly difficult. I was really looking forward to, okay, it's 500 meters now, it's 300, 200, oh, okay, I'm done. So I just hope that it's better on Sunday because if, if it's like that, it's gonna be a really tough, really, really tough race. Honestly, I wanna go there right now. And not to, to get it over with, I'm, I, I wanna see if I can do it. I, I want to get tested. After this commitment, after this training, I wanna, get tested and see, am I able to do this or not? Because it's going to be close and I want to find out. And then the last 24 hours before the marathon began. I woke up and immediately noticed that something just didn't feel quite right. I just didn't feel like I was at 100% anymore. We got out and did the shakeout run. 10 to 15 minute, really easy pace run, but also the shakeout run just felt a little bit off. After my shakeout run was done, I jumped onto a call with Timo Bracht, who over the last 20 years had nine Ironman victories and won multiple triathlon championship titles. We will have some, some small hills hmm? in, in total. I think it's 180 meter elevation game. X-Bionic were the ones connecting me with him and we had a very insightful talk, especially with my mindset. To stay positive, in, mm -hmm. a, in, a, in the, the right mood, a uh, way to push, to push yourself to the boundaries. You have to, to run more or less steady. So I think it will also suit you to start perhaps a little bit faster at the first 15k. In this part of the run it is important to not overpace because you will pay for it in the last section. But after the talk with Timo, it really hit me. I could feel that my body was working on something else than preparing itself for a marathon. The only thing that was still super important is getting my starting number. There were so many people there obviously for the marathon and the positive vibe and the positive atmosphere really helped me to also build a positive mindset for the following day. Really excited for tomorrow, I'm aiming to do this whole thing in under four hours. It's going to be very close, it's going to be very hard and mentally I have to be 100% to deliver. Uh, but that's exactly what I'm going to do tomorrow, so I'm excited for the race. Good luck for tomorrow. The next day I woke up still feeling that I'm not at 100%, but definitely better than Saturday. I could feel okay, it's time for the race. The weather was really beautiful when we arrived at the starting grid, but honestly I could just feel the pressure of myself, of the last weeks, my team being there. I knew what challenge was lying ahead of me. Actually the beginning because it was very tight and the race started with quite a lot of elevation. Since my goal was a 540 pace, I was already at a 620 pace because I couldn't go faster. But 
at right around 6k i caught the under four hour pacer brew and i got super excited when i caught them because i knew i'm on pace and now i can just hold on to them and finish the race For the next 10 kilometers, I was on a high. I really thought, okay, I can do this race in under four hours. The turning point was at around 15, 16 K though. Maybe this is not gonna be so easy as I thought. From the half marathon point on, I was still on pace, I was still with the group, but from that moment on, it got hard. I mean, it was only half of the race and it was already struggling so much. What then also happened, the sun got out. And it also draining me of energy and water that the 540 pace, which normally is okay and manageable for me, felt like we were sprinting. I was able to keep the pace till about 25 kilometers and then I had to let it go. Of course there were things that kept me going but unfortunately nothing so big that got me to the 540 pace again. The most important thing to remember is a marathon is not supposed to be easy. It's fucking hard. And it is going to break you at some point. The only question that remains is how do you deal with that? Do you stop or do you continue to fight? That's a new goal. A new goal was inside my head. Just be faster than in 2022 in your first race. Right below 4 hours and 34 minutes. No matter what is going to happen, so I just kept pushing. Finally, I could hear the people cheering. A huge tramp exploded my left leg. A marathon is about you against the time on your watch against the pain that breaks you down. You against everything you had to overcome to get to this point. But in the end, it's always you against yourself and you have to win that battle every day. Four hours, 28 minutes and 57 seconds. I made it. <laughs>